Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Mass here at St. Anthony Church in Mount Shasta. A blessed Good Shepherd Sunday to all of you who are watching from home. Good Shepherd Sunday is celebrated around the world on the fourth Sunday of Easter. The Church's liturgy presents to us the figure of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and the Gospel reading is taken from the 10th chapter of St. John's Gospel. Jesus identifies himself as the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for his sheep. The Church also celebrates Vocation Day. We are reminded of the great need for men and women to serve the Church as priests, religious, and lay workers. Jesus urges us to ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Pray for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life. May I now invite you to offer your intentions in this Holy Mass. On this Good Shepherd Sunday, may we also remember and pray for all the dedicated shepherds, priests, deacons, religious sisters who served in our parish. May we now stand and sing our entrance hymn, number 444, The King of Love My Shepherd Is. Let us call to mind our sins 
and beg the good Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord, with you as our shepherd, there is nothing we shall want. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, even if we should walk in the valley of darkness, we will fear no evil, because you are with us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, in your own house we will dwell forever and ever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory Amen. to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Most High. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share of the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted the message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm will be the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. there is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. 
my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to one of the judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Wait to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hears his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of the strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the ship. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the ship did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they may have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I arrived in the Diocese of Sacramento and the first parish that I served was in Good Shepherd, Elk Road. And in front of us is the picture of a Good Shepherd. It's so beautiful that one of the parishioners gave this to me as a gift when I left after two years of serving in that community. I thank Father Leon, the pastor who taught me a lot to shepherd God's people. The image of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, 
is actually even older than the image of Jesus crucified. This image was actually a favorite painting for the burial grounds of the early Christians rather than the crucifix, as in our cemeteries. The image of Jesus the Good Shepherd decorated burial grounds in the first few centuries of the church. Why? Because the crucifix was a capital punishment, and as a result, the crucifix was a source of embarrassment to the first Christians. This is why they practically hid the way the Lord died. They were hiding the nakedness of the Lord on the cross. This is why to show that Christ laid down his life for us, instead of the crucifix, our ancestors used the image of the Good Shepherd. My brothers and sisters, the message was still the same. I laid down my life for my sheep, says the Good Shepherd. On the cross, Jesus said, there is no greater love than to lay down your life for your friends. The reason Good Shepherd Sunday takes a special celebration in our liturgy is that the image of the Good Shepherd is even older than the cross. At this time of the pandemic, we begin to experience the effects of the pandemic. I have noticed that people are now experiencing the terrible effects of the pandemic in their lives. Confusion, frustrations are felt everywhere and many are giving up waiting for the quarantine, lockdown, and the suspension of the celebration of public masses to be lifted. Uncertainty made others so mad and have no patience at all. Families who lose their loved ones are in deep pain and unable to move on. Fear of having a huge accumulated amount of bills, house rentals to pay is a sad reality. Workers lost their jobs and they worry so much of their future. Many are upset because their travel plans are on the road and their exciting events are cancelled. Students, teachers as well as parents are getting tired with the online classes. There is, seems to be no hope in the hearts of so many who are struggling in their faith. My brothers and sisters, Jesus the Good Shepherd presents to us life and hope. We are still in the Easter season and today's liturgy continues to manifest the presence of the risen Lord in our midst, contemplated as a shepherd of the sheep. The responsorial psalm beautifully introduced the message of the theme, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. Because of his loving care and commitment to the flock, he protects and pastures. The Gospel tells us that Jesus is also the gate for the sheep because he is the way to salvation. A sheep gate, he leads us to eternal life. The first reading tells us about Peter proclaiming how he returned to the Lord by repentance. In the second reading, Peter seems to point to us the words of Isaiah the prophet in chapter 53 as he recalls how we had all gone astray like sheep, each taking his own way. Jesus takes on himself the task of reuniting the sheep as the good shepherd. My brothers and sisters, we are called to be good shepherds to one another. Please don't hesitate to offer your own life to one another, especially in this time of crisis and difficult situation. 
We imitate in our lives Jesus' service, sacrifice, and death for us. Christ sets the criteria of true genuine leadership. The first is dedication. The true shepherd is ready to lay down his life for the sheep. Second is knowledge. The true shepherd knows his people. Knowing is more than intellectual knowledge. It includes sharing the people's lives, conditions, and identifying with their difficult situation. And the third, Christ taught the leaders should instill self-reliance. More so, leaders must not do everything. He should rather inspire and motivate his followers to contribute their share. Christ warned his disciples not to go after their own selfish interests rather than the welfare of their ship. His spouses must not fail to serve each other's need in love and not to destroy their relationship. Parents must not pray, must not pay more attention to their ambitions at their children's expense. Leaders, educators, employees, and people in authority must not exploit the people under their care for their own personal advancement. Christ will give us his life for the love of the sheep. Shepherding for Christ is a vocation of love, not profession of convenience. His authority does not stem from the desire to dominate, but from the genuine concern and care of his sheep. Be like Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who is willing to lay down one's life. I have a beautiful story about a parishioner. I caught my attention, caught my attention because of the scars he bore in his arms and other parts of the body. I asked him, what have caused those scars? You see, Father, he replied, I incurred this when our house burned and then I was trying to save my family. Although I did everything I could and almost died myself, I finally all perished. Is it possible to remove those scars? I told him. Even if I can do so, he answered, I would like them to be etched forever on my body. They are reminders not of my failures, but of my great love for my family. When we proclaim our love for people, what are the hard truths that we can show? Satan appeared to a saint and tried to deceive him by saying, by saying I am Christ. The, the saint confronted him by asking, Where are your signs of love? Can you show me your marks of nails? We now stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We pray to God, our Father, with trust and confidence and offer Him the deep concern and needs of the church and the world. We pray for our Holy Father and the bishops of the church. May they be true shepherds, leading their flocks to good pastures. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. We pray for missionaries, that they may be led by God's Spirit as they announce the gospel of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. We pray for those who have wandered away from the paths of righteousness. May they hear for the voice of Christ the Good Shepherd calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life. May the young people hear the voice of the Good Shepherd calling them to serve God's family in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For doctors, nurses, medical staff, all caregivers who are selflessly treating coronavirus patients and all who are working to find a cure to this pandemic, may God grant them fortitude and deliver them safely at the end of each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all those who face economic uncertainty and all those who are suffering in any way from the pandemic, May God graciously look upon their needs and bring them relief and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For all those who have lost loved ones in the pandemic, may they be comforted through the peace and joy of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. We now pray silently for our own intentions and those held deeply within our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Loving and merciful God, hear our prayers. Bless each one of us in the way you know best. May we follow wherever you lead us. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, for to the earth the work of human hands it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. For the divine work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray. Brethren, that our sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these pastoral mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us, 
may be the cause of our unending joy to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time of all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic cause sing together, then in him of your glory as they are playing. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and revealing in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and was more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How may we pray that for our taking the body and blood of Christ? we may be gathered to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jaime our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be careers in life and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the aid of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As children of our loving Father, let us now together pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
We may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and live in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pasture the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We not only celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday, but we also celebrate Vocation Sunday. It is an opportunity for us to pray for the increase of priestly and religious vocation. One time I asked uh, Liam and Nathan, would you like to be a priest someday? And right away they said, yes, we want to be priests. At their very young age, they might not know everything now. But what is important is they have the desire in their heart. The seed of vocation is there. And I request the parents and the parish family to continue praying for Liam and Nathan and all the young people that they may say yes to God's call. I would like to invite you now to join me in praying the prayer for vocation. Prayer for vocations. Loving God, you speak to us and lures us to the life of this church community. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to send your spirit to us so that men and women among us, young and old, will respond to your call to service and leadership in the church. We pray especially in our day for those who hear your invitation to be a priest, sister, brother, or deacon, may those who are opening their hearts and minds to, you, to your call 
be encouraged and strengthened through, through our enthusiasm in your service. Amen. Amen. May 3rd is the birthday of my one and only loving mother, Telisa. We call her Telly. So I just want to extend my greetings to my mom. Mom, happy birthday. And I have here a beautiful flower from our garden. This might be a virtual gift. It might not be the best, but I hope you may be able to feel the love deep in my heart for you. Thank you, Mom, for sharing your life. And because of you, I am what I am. And accept this virtual flower as my precious gift for you. Happy birthday, Mom. I would like also to share with you the greetings and cards sent by Penny Davis, extending her greetings for me and Good Shepherd Sunday. Thank you for your loving message, Penny, and I really appreciate your words of encouragement and for inspiring me to be shepherd of this community. And her, her brother, Mike Mulik, draw a beautiful uh, card for me. And this is a virtual shepherd. It's so amazing. And thank you, Mike, for drawing this for me. I really appreciate and I am thankful to God for all of you. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. 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 May he, by his redeeming word, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make your heirs in an eternal inheritance. Amen. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.